Hey, all you Atlas Earthlings, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here saying, hey, thanks for dropping by. I do appreciate your time. If you're new here, if you are looking for information on Atlas Earth, or perhaps you were just uh, surfing around YouTube looking for play-to-earn type games, um, you found a good one. Uh, I believe the Atlas Earth is uh, well worth taking a look at if you're into these type of games. Uh, I will leave a link to a video that will completely... Uh, describe how to play Atlas Earth, how to make money off of it in the show notes. I've done that a couple weeks ago, um, but you can take that. And if you end up being interested in playing Atlas Earth uh, after you listen to this video, uh, please take a look at and use my um, referral code in the show notes. Uh, if you use it uh, after you get into playing the game at your 11th parcel, you will receive 200 free Atlas bucks, which gets you basically two free parcels or a free badge. And I get 100 out of it as well. So it's a win-win situation with you getting twice as much as I do. But uh, I haven't made a video here in a little bit more than a week because mainly there hasn't been a whole lot going on. Now, I say that with an asterisk because um, there hasn't been a bunch of newsworthy events which would uh, give me fodder for making a video, right? Um, and largely, I have been kind of in a holding pattern, amassing Atlas Bucks, haven't done any big purchase uh, lately uh, as far as um, uh, buying parcels, right? I'm saving up for a tier jump. So look forward to the next week or two. You'll see a big video come out from me, and I'll put a big, big headline on it and everything. It'll be very interesting. Um, I'm not sitting on my hands. I've got a strategy I'm going to implement, and after it goes down, I'll give you all the full details. Okay, uh, with that said, uh, and I will also, for uh, people who are just finding this channel, I am playing free to earn, uh, which, and um, this is a popular uh, topic of questioning on my show notes when, when people leave comments, uh, which I love because I try to get back to everybody uh, as long as you're not like being mean spirited or something, rather. Um, one of the popular questions is, what do I mean by free to, uh, free to play? Um, what I mean is I have not spent any money specifically on buying Atlas Bucks to turn around and buy uh, parcels of land. Also, up to this point, I have not purchased the Explorer Club. That's still a topic that I'm on the fence about, whether uh, if you say I earn $50 in game, I cash it out and then use that to play, pay for the Explorer Club. Um, am I still free to play? Uh, Anyway, that's still going on in the back of my head because I haven't cashed out uh, that amount yet. Um, uh, we'll see where I stand here in a minute. Um, the, the whole topic this video, I was just trying to catch you up a little bit. The whole topic this video is a, um, a viewer comment that I got this morning when I woke up. And I found it pretty interesting. Uh, so I figured it would make a good topic to jump back in and do a video and see what everybody got out of it. So let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, now just to kind of frame this, uh, I did a video several months back and it's gotten a lot of views uh, for me. Um, it was titled, Is Atlas Earth a Scam? Okay, and yeah, I, I agree. It's probably a little bit of a clickbaity type title, but uh, my goal for that video was to answer this question because I get it a lot. I see it in the show notes a lot. I see it on Reddit a lot. I see it on, in several different forms. Um, and people investigating the game and trying to figure out whether indeed uh, the game is a scam or not. So that's why I made that video. And if you watch the video or if you have, um, I largely went through and made several points and what I considered to be proof that uh, behind myself saying that I don't believe the game is a scam, okay? But interestingly enough, if you read through the comments on it, you'll see that people commented on the video without even watching the video. And to the largest extent, uh, most of the people commenting uh, were people that uh, were saying, yes, it is a scam. Um, of course, these people do not list any proof or anything. They're just throwing that out there. There are a few people that went in and uh, left comments uh, that were obviously Atlas Earth players just saying, no, it's not a scam and getting kind of outraged a little bit. And it was clear that they didn't even watch the video because in the video, I made my case for it not being a scam. 
Okay, so that's where this is coming from. And maybe I might need to go ahead and um, redo the video to bring it up to date because this was uh, several months ago and a lot has changed since then, but I still feel that it stands up on its own. Um, once again, I'll leave a link in the show notes if you wanna check it out and you haven't seen it. So with that said, I got this comment and um, I just felt like it was a good idea to go ahead and dive in and explore this a little bit, okay? Um, I took the, the user's uh, name off of it because the, the purpose behind this video is not to attack a user or anything. Um, I think that if you leave a comment on a video um, and you're, you're trying to state how you feel, that's fine. Uh, I would prefer that if you backed it up with, um, with proof, um, then it's an even better statement. So, and this person did leave proof, okay? So let's go ahead and read through it. I, I removed the name, like I said, it's not to attack a person or anything, but I thought it was good discussion fodder. Um, and in fact, I'm gonna link this back to the person that made the comment so they can, it's like a, a, a video answer to their question, right? Okay, so, uh, or I guess it's a statement, not a question. Um, so the statement goes, with one blue rarity parcel, it will take you 3,472,200 years to make back $1. With the highest earning parcel, which is a legendary, it will take 1,315,000 years to earn back $1. You would theoretically have to own millions of parcels of the highest rating to even have a chance of making a dollar back per year. So yes, it's a scam. So this person is saying it's a scam because they're using the base math uh, that the game's based on, okay? So, and this is obviously a person that knows nothing about the mechanics of the game and that there are uh, numerous ways to boost how what you make in the game. On top of that, there's several different ways that you can earn Atlas Bucks to in turn buy parcels to expand what you're making for just the use of your time and attention, uh, namely, you know, all the advertising, which we've discussed before the game is based upon. So let's take a look at the basic numbers. Okay, so here we have my page within the app that shows uh, my parcels, the numbers, the varieties I have. Um, and if you press the little uh, question mark, up in the right hand corner right here you will get this screen and these are the numbers that he is basing his math on now i didn't go go through and redo his math because the point is not to to uh, nitpick math or anything because we all understand that if you are not doing a number of things within the game to actively play the game you will be making very minimal very little and that proves his point right but my point is that if you are going to be actively playing atlas earth his math does not apply because you're going to be going in and doing a number of things to earn atlas bucks to um, uh, make your rent go up by boosting etc uh, and for that matter right now we are on a super rent boost so stay boosted as i always say uh, so we'll discuss that in a minute but you can see um, that the basic rent is very minimal, okay? And he may be correct on that. I didn't do the math out. But the point is that most of us who play this game uh, get a lot more out of the game as, as far as rent goes um, than what these basic numbers indicate, okay? Now, I've, like I said earlier, I've been playing free-to-play for... A little bit over six months now a couple days past six months right and you can see that i've made almost 105 dollars. and like i said i haven't spent any money in the store or on uh the club to earn atlas bucks what i have done is i have done everything else i've done the surveys i've played the games i've watched the ads i've taken advantage of everything else the amp program where i buy lunches and dinners once in a while and get credit for it so i've done everything else and you can see that what I've made within the first a little bit more than six months. And I think anybody that has started to play, this statement applies, okay? It starts out very minimal and very inconsequential what you're making as far as rent. But as time goes along and you put your time and effort into watching the, watching the, um, the advertisements and playing the games and all this other things and, and you're buying the parcels up, 
okay, with the in-game money, not real money, okay? Now, although you can do that, but we've discussed this before, that um, putting real money into the game and buying Atlas Bucks for parcels has a very long return on uh, investment. So it'll take a long time to get that back. So that proves his point again. But there are a lot of people that buy and play the game, um, buy a lot of parcels, so they can play what I call the government game, okay? So, and what I mean by that is another variable here is the fact that once you become a mayor, once you become a governor or a president, or um, they have different terminology for wherever you're at in the world, like prime minister or something like that, the same point applies, right? You get extra Atlas bucks in for when people are buying badges. So for instance, if I was, uh, if I was the uh, governor of my state, I would get a 10% fee, which is 20 Atlas bucks, for everybody who buys a badge in my state, okay? So as you can see, as you start playing this game and you start accumulating more parcels and you start playing that game of accumulating mayorships here and there and possibly a governorship or uh, lately in this last week, there's been a huge run on the president. OK, so we know Maximus is making a run um, on stealth. Uh, it's very interesting <laughs> and it, it feels like every day I open it up and I'm like, oh, what's going to go on now? So we'll see uh, if you're paying attention to that. It's pretty interesting. But my point is that there is a lot going on within the game where you it, it doesn't just come down to the math of, oh, I'm paying $5 for 100 Atlas bucks and I'm going to buy one parcel and wait until that pays off itself, which to his point would, would never happen in our lifetime. But if you're actively playing in the game and you're doing your boosts, which depending upon, um, let me pull the charts up. So here's the boost chart I was referring to, and this is the United States one. Uh, obviously, you have uh, this. These can be found if you're unaware on the Atlas Earth uh, website under uh, the help section, FAQ section, um, support section. So um, this these charts are basically what you make your choices on how to play the game. But uh, and I go into that in great detail in my other video. I have linked in the show notes on how to play. My main point here is, though, that you can see that the boosts available uh, go down as you acquire more parcels. However, as you get more parcels, you also have the ability to take over mayorships and governorships and uh, possibly uh, prime ministerships or presidentships um, and start playing that side of the game, which will bring more Atlas Bucks in, which uh, basically just extrapolates out how many parcels you can keep buying. Now, as the boost goes down, a lot of people, that's another comment people are concerned with, the boost going down, because that's the idea behind tier jumping. And we went over that uh, in the last video uh, uh, once again, but that brings in the importance of the super rent boost, which overall, one of the biggest things that I say against what his comment is, is that if you're boosting, which if you're playing Atlas Earth, you should be, once that super rent boost hits, you need to Make sure your boost is active at all times, and that super rent boost is times 50, okay? So, okay, so that's another point. Now, why are the rentals, um, your incurred rent, what you're receiving, if you're just getting base rent, why is that so minimal? Well, that is a game, uh, just, just follow me here. Put yourself in the shoes of the game makers, okay? They have to have a mechanic in the game. They can't just pay people out uh, at these high rates at all points in time if the people are not interacting with the game. This game, we've discussed it before, is based on advertising. So they're going to incentivize you to watch ads so they can keep making money, okay? That's just one of the ways they make money. But they want to incentivize you to log in every day, do your wheel spins. That's one of the biggest uh, incentives, as well as boost uh, and keep keep yourself boosted. Watch the ads, right? So you can get a lot more than that base rent. But here's what happens. Obviously, when you're playing a game, you're devising and developing a game. You have to have a mechanic wherein um, there's always a certain portion of the player base that's going to be inactive, right? 
And if they're inactive, they're not helping you out. They're not watching your ads. They're not uh, doing anything for the app. So the mechanic is at that point in time, what those persons who are inactive are earning goes down to that very minimal point. Okay. Is it nothing? No, but it's just a shade above nothing, right? So I hope that's a, a good enough answer, right? So is he right? Do you spend $5, buy one parcel, and it takes forever to pay it off? Yes. However, if you're active and playing in the game, um, then that is, that's really a non-factor because your boost is up, uh, you know, 30, 20, 50, even if you have a lot of parcels and you're playing at 2X, right? When the super rent boost uh, comes around, that's when you're making your money. So you make sure that you're boosted 24 seven during that period. Now, uh, I jumped over here to the Atlas Earth calculator just to, to give you a further uh, point here because uh, just to come just kind of uh, another point against uh, a counterpoint against what he was talking about. Okay, so I'm at 220 uh, parcels. I'm at 31 badges. That places me in the 15% badge boost. Okay, so that's another boost. Okay, so we have multiple different types of boosts that you can do in the game. The badge boost, which is good across the board. Okay, so uh, when you get your uh, badges and like I've got 15%, that's across the board. It's on all the time, whether I'm boosted or not. So that automatically, if you've got a badge boost, if you just got one badge and you got 5%, that makes those numbers wrong, right? So it doesn't make it enough wrong to... Um, to go against the point of it would take forever to pay it off? No, but it is, it does build up slowly from 5% to 25% when you max out your badges. Um, but that's another point. I came over here to show you that at 220 badges at 15% badge boost, I am making about 71 per, uh, let's see, what does it say? 71 cents per SRB ad days spin or a um, dollar. 93 per 32 hours or uh, on average about 66 cents uh, a day which equates out to as long as I'm active once again 242 dollars a year so you tell me I mean I'm playing free and I what it's uh, I have put my time and effort into it and I've taken advantage of most everything else play wise that's available in the game except for I haven't spent any money on it as far as actually buying atlas bucks so i think that this is enough proof that disproves what he said and i i really think that if if that person actually watched that video through um yeah it, this would be a moot point right and, well this has been bronze dragon uh if you have any ideas for um or questions for future videos just let me know in the comments uh, and let me know what you thought about uh, this episode uh, whether you're pro or against uh, just keep it nice I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy and hey I'll see you in Atlas Earth